all the information we gathered was that um, there was a misunderstanding between supporters of the National Democratic Congress and the New Patriotic Party over allegations of um, vote buying that is very close to a polling center at Akaporiso. Now, when the military was um, patrolling the area, you know, because of the new directive that the military shouldn't come to the polling center, even in areas like Asawasi where I visited, mm -hmm. I occasionally see them patrolling, but they don't come very close to the polling center. So that was the same thing. The military saw the altercation and, and um, intervened, and it ended. But two military men in uniform um, decided to monitor what was happening around the, in the polling station. That's Akaporiso. Mm -hmm. That's where the NDC, the, the man you saw in the video is the NDC communication officer for Obwasi East. Mm -hmm. And he resisted that he will not allow them to go to the polling center because that has been the directive that yeah. um, since nothing has happened in the polling center, he will not allow them entry in there. That generated this whole um, confrontation and the fight between the military and some of the supporters. As we speak at the moment, uh, we do not know the whereabouts of that gentleman. The military, we are told, um, carried him away. We, we, are, we are trying to engage the, the police, uh, whether they handed him over to the police or not, you know, but we all know that because of the centralized system of the police administration currently, they are also not divulging any information to us as to whether he is in their custody or in the custody of the military. Okay, but, but just quickly, I mean, we're seeing the shooting incidents on the screen now. And the military, when they put out that statement, said that they would only come in if the Ghana Police Service calls them. Can you confirm, have you been able to speak to the police service to find out if they had actually asked the military to come there or the military decided to just appear and head to the polling station on their own? Well, for the information we picked at the polling center, um, the police there or the security at that polling center um, didn't make any call because that confrontation or that misunderstanding between supporters of the two parties did not happen in the polling center, mm. but just um, a distance away because that was where the NDC was alleging that there were a group of MPP persons who were convincing people who were campaigning. If you are coming to vote, they will tell you that when you go vote for MPP. So that was how the confrontation started. Okay. So it didn't happen in the polling center for that to warrant even Call. So for now, we do not know because we are still trying to speak to the police hierarchy okay. in Oguas East and to see uh, whether mm. this has even come to their attention and the way forward to this whole issue. But she said the military were monitoring what was happening at the polling station and had attempted to go there. Exactly. So what they do is that they do not go to the polling station in all the areas or the constituencies. You find them in their vehicle. So they are patrolling. So moving about okay. around areas. So right. they, they do not even get down and go to the various polling station. But this instance, two of the officers got down and attempted to access the polling station. That's how come the NDC executives also uh, resisted this. All right. We'll wait on you to, 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 to speak to the police um, so that we can get some further details. But in shooting into the crowd, or well, I was trying to look at the video. It looked like the, the gun was pointed upwards. But whichever way, did anybody get hurt? Uh, no, but um, it really put fear in a lot of um, people. Uh, we were even told that there were people who even wanted to go and vote, but this incident scared them and they had to also run for their lives. So we do not even know whether later they came back to the polling station and vote or when they left, that was the end of it. But it really um, put a lot of fear in the people who were around that uh, area at that moment. All right.